follow creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Christmas. It's just a few short days away, but that doesn't mean that you don't have time to make an incredible braided loaf of bread to take to whatever Christmas get together it is that you're going to. A braided loaf of bread. Seems like it'd be hard, right? Oh my goodness. It is so quick and easy. It's going to take you five minutes to do it and it has an outcome that's going to leave people talking about where did you get this loaf of bread from? And when you tell them that you did it yourself, they are going to be amazed. This is one of those bread loaves that is a versatile one. You can make it savory or you can make it sweet. And I'm going to show you just how you can do it both ways today, just as easily. So I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let me show you just how easily, oh my goodness, this dog, she wants her belly rubbed. <laughs> Let me show you just how easily you too can make your own braided loaf of bread. The outcome, did I say, is amazing. It is so pretty. I love the way this turns out. Okay, let's get to it. For this braided loaf, I'm keeping it simple. I'm using this ready dough. This is a bread dough. It's frozen. You're getting three one pound loaves in this pack. It's gonna run you about $3.99. Look at that, the dough, no fuss, no muss. You don't have to do anything except for let it thaw out. Once I've let it thaw out, I'm gonna go ahead and roll out my dough. It is a little sticky, it's not bad. I am opting not to use flour because if I'm being honest, I really dislike the taste of flour on my bread on the outside of it. It's not that sticky that I can't work with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out just like you see me do it here. And I'm gonna stretch it out to about two and a half feet and I'm gonna do that to all three of these loaves. Yep, all three, because we're making a braided loaf of bread. Wait until you see this. Once I've got all three of those dough loaves rolled out, stretched out, I'm gonna attach one end just like you see I've done here, and because it's dough, it's sticky, so it's gonna stick together. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and braid it, just that simple. Braid it all the way down the length of my dough, yes. So the longer your dough, the longer your braid. Then I'm going to take and just mm -hmm, attach the two ends together, making a circle braided loaf, right? Yeah, why not? I will say that when your dough is at room temperature, it's a bit easier to actually get those ends to adhere together and get the dough to stick together. And so you kind of want to just mold it together the best you can and it'll kind of disguise the fact that it was two ends. Doesn't that look so cool already? This first loaf, this first braided loaf, is gonna be a savory one. How am I gonna make it savory? Using a garlic spread. This is a pre-made garlic spread that I got with the regular butter. Anyone will do. This is gonna be perfect because it has all the seasoning. It has some of the herbs in it, like parsley and oregano. It's got garlic in it. Easy peasy. I melted it down and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it over my loaf. If you don't wanna melt it down, you don't have to. It just spreads easier that way. And I feel like it also gives your loaf more of a glazed look on top. And so that's the look I'm going for. And so once I've just smothered this loaf in garlic butter, oh my word, doesn't this look amazing? I'm so not done because I'm gonna sprinkle some of this grated Parmesan cheese over the top. This is gonna add just a bit of flavor. Now remember, if these seasonings or this butter isn't for you, get creative and make your own. But I'm telling you, this is going to taste amazing. It's gonna go in the oven at 350 and I'm gonna start out at about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, I'm gonna give it a little look, and would you look at that, it's plumping up nicely. I am loving the look of this, but it's not done. I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes. After about another 10 minutes, you can see here that our braided loaf looks absolutely delicious and amazing, and look at the outcome of this. 
How amazing is that? And how easy was it to do? Yeah, you take this to whatever holiday get together you're going to and everybody is going to love it. I promise you that. Again, Dollar Tree has these cool platters that you can go ahead and transfer your loaf onto and it's easy to transfer. It's a nice solid piece, but let me tell you, the inside feels soft and it is warm, just waiting to be eaten. For the sweet loaf, I just topped it with some brown sugar and butter glaze. Look at that. Just mix some brown sugar with some butter, put it over the top of your dough, and would you look at how amazing this turned out. This tastes more like a Hawaiian sweet bread, I want to say, but it is amazing. You can make a cinnamon one if you wanted to. On this one, the ends did come apart, but I'm not super worried about it because this is one that we're going to eat. It still looks amazing, and boy oh boy is this one delicious. Right? Enough said. This dog of mine, she just wants me to rub her belly. I don't know if you can see her, but she's on her back. It is so funny. I just love her. Her head is hanging off the chair. Anyhow, this loaf of bread is quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and I tell you, people are really gonna think that you went to the bakery and you bought this, and when you tell them you didn't, that you did it yourself, they're gonna be amazed. I hope you all enjoyed today's quick and easy braided loaf of bread, sweet and savory. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get this video to 5,000 likes, because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. I am.